Hey, thanks for joining me today. I'm really excited to show you how to use ChatGPT to craft your own unique um, data scientist that will give you tailored feedback on how to grow your startup. First of all, if you don't know what a data scientist is, there's someone who can collect your data, uh, your KPI, your metrics, anything, your emails, your user reviews, um, user feedback, anything that is data related to your startup analyze it and tell you how to use this data to move forward, grow and scale. And today I'm gonna to show you how you can do that if you have limited resources or are a solo founder, how you can do it so easily using ChatGPT. Let's go. So the first thing we wanna do is we wanna kind of, you know, think about the personality and skill set of the advisor that we want and, you know, the qualities they're going to bring to our project as um, an interpreter of our very, very valuable information. So I'm gonna enter this prompt. I don't think I need quotes. Okay. That's the misspelling, but okay, let's go. So I'll read the prompt. It says, you are a world-renowned data scientist of a powerful social impact technology company that has helped so many people across the world. You have a qualitative and quantitative research background from 30 years of experience of analyzing data in order to help companies use this data to make the world a better place. You have always been successful in your analysis and subsequent that needs to go. Recommendations because you always you have always been successful in your analysis and subsequent recommendations because you always consider the current economic times, your lived experience growing up in poverty your drive to help others, and your ingenuity as to how to turn all of the data into a viable and profitable business. You are unbiased and focused solely on the best direction to take any business to generate profit, but never take advantage of people in return. You were hired by my company to help us better understand our data and how to use the data to grow our social impact startup based on everything you have in your database about how companies analyze and use to their advantage startup data, KPIs, metrics, churn, etc. You will always give your understanding of the data and the best ways to move forward based on the data and our business model. You will help your employer succeed and help the company make as much money as possible. I'm your boss coming to you today in need of analysis of the rich data we have collected and how we can use it to generate revenue, increase customers, and acquire outside funding. Your expertise is deeply important in understanding this data for us to achieve this goal. Do you understand? Whew, that was a lot to read, but... Um, I make the prompts for myself really, really explicit. I want to, again, tell what the personality of this advisor I want to work with. Um, I want to make explicit about their, their research experience, how long they've been in the field, and things like that. And as you see, uh, ChatGPT responds with, yeah, I understand the task at hand, and I'm excited to help leverage our data to achieve our objectives of increasing revenue, growing our customer base, and attracting external funding, all while maintain maintaining our commitment to social impact. To start, we need to make sure that the data we have is reliable, accurate, and relevant to the questions to we're trying to answer. So then at this point, um, you'll get, a if, you know, every time you do this, you'll get like a different response from ChatGPT, but mainly it might uh, ask you for specific types of data moving forward. Um, and so you can choose uh, what you want, but the best thing, first of all, actually, let's continue going this. You, you can choose what you want, but the best thing I think is to start with what I'm gonna do is uh, input the marketing website copy um, to start to tell ChatGPT Chat about the company itself, and then a little bit more, and then I'll then I will add two types of data I wanted to analyze and show you kind of the results of how it does that. But so this initial response, um, high level, it just basically says how it's going to <laughs> how it could possibly analyze the data, and that's awesome. Like I said, each response is going to be different. After it, it, it tells you how it's going to potentially analyze data and all these things and what type of data it would be would be useful for you to utilize, I'm going to enter this prompt. And basically, it's just uh, saying that first, let's start with a, the introducing, you know, first, let's start with telling uh, ChatGPT what you what your company is about. So easiest way to do that is copy your the copy the copy from your marketing site um just 
select all and then plug it right into chat GPT so I copied mine from well money and let's see what it says as you told it you want to bullet you want it to really under make sure you it understands what the work you do your customer base and like kind of every very explicit the most important parts of your marketing site you want it to to show that it knows what you do. So it's like not just gonna give you generic feedback based on some high level, just basic business scientific terms. It's really gonna give you feedback based, tailored directly to your company. So from this site, it's like, yeah, our company's purpose. Yes, product offerings, yes. Cost structure, benefits, business model, Awesome. <laughs> this is great. You can you can add additional data if you want to, like from a pitch deck. And I have another video here that uh, tells how the, you can use it as a business advisor and how you can get more feedback based on adding more types of content about your company. Um, but for the purpose of this video, we're just going to stick with the marketing website. Cool. And then just... Uh, even though you got this response, I would just make sure to... Finally ask it if there's anything else. Do you understand what we offer? Is there anything else? It's like, yes, I totally understand. Get it, got it, good, guys. And at this point, um, it may ask uh, additional questions for clarity, and we'll see how that goes if it does. Huh, like I said, there we go, some additional... I answer the questions, no set limit of contributions, requests are, evalu requests are evaluated by the community leaders, and yes, we provide educational events exclusively for members. And to add to this, I'm gonna put, now analyze the type of data. I want you to, in brackets, you can put what type of data. I'm gonna put um, the type of data that I'm using is qualitative data from my startup, Well Money. And after I finish reading this, I'm gonna tell you what it is. Um, I want you to list 10 of the most important and financially useful data points you pull from this data and explain how we can leverage this deeper understanding of this data to grow our user base. You will also discuss how we can use this data for our immediate revenue advantage by getting, giving explicit examples that are aligned with our company mission, which you now know from the marketing site I shared with you earlier. This is the data, got it? So at Well Money, um, when someone gets money, when a conf confidential requests are approved for financial support in an emergency, when folks get that money like as quickly as possible and under 48 hours, um, they can then send a thank you to the community of folks that help. Um, it's not required. People are just offered the opportunity to do it. And 94%, an overwhelming 94% of the people who actually get um, money from well money actually uh, write a thank you note of gratitude. And if you don't know, doing acts of gratitude, such as writing notes of thank you, um, even if you don't show them to anybody, has been scientifically proven to increase philanthropic efforts. Um, and so gratitude is built into our product. And so again, you can learn more about us here, but I'm going to now input this qualitative data of gratitude notes from users and chat gpt is going to analyze it and then give me feedback about how to leverage it and monetize it to grow our user base and grow our user base awesome okay so i'm going to change type of data here to what we're using which is our gratitude notes and then i'm going to copy and paste the actual gratitude notes here and sometimes your data may be too big to put in chat, chat GPT and it will let you know you can just add a sentence at the end of after this and, and say or this is the first half first section of data as part of X amount of sections or something like that um, but I think all of our data should fit I'm gonna press enter and let's see what it says okay all right now it's going to list out the 10 most financially relevant data points from this set of data that I just dumped into it. This is freaking awesome, guys, um, and very helpful for me. I've been using ChatGPT like a madman, um, so cool. So it's still it's still going, and these are real. It showed the 
type of emergencies that we're supporting, um, the impact of our community support, how users are actually expressing gratitude and how it could be used to grow our user base because we, people are trusting us so much. People are actually increasing their contributions and which suggests a pot another potential for growth in their revenue stream. So how do we get more people to increase their contributions? That's a way to figure out um, housing insecurity. Several men users mentioned housing related financial difficulties. And that's awesome because that's an area that we could target for, again, community support and partnerships with other orgs, right? Even if that's not what we do, but a large majority of our users who are requesting help need that for housing support. So as you see, I'm not going to go through all of these, but um, it's freaking awesome. And then the next thing, as part of our prompt, we ask it to, how can we leverage this information, right? So targeted marketing, user testimonials, leverage the testimonials we have, um, a referral program, which we do. So we're on the right track. Thanks, ChatGPT. Um, emphasize speed and non-judgment. Organize more community events. Um, highlight how many members express to give back once they've already gotten money without even being pressured to. These are really awesome, awesome uh, bullet points. And now we're going to want to figure out how to um, turn this qualitative data into quantitative um, numbers so that we can further uh, figure out how to couple this information to better serve our customers, how to acquire more customers, or how to get funding if that's what you're looking for at this moment in the game. So now we wanna get some solid numbers um, that we can actually use to supplement our qualitative uh, note data that we have. So So I put, thanks, now numerically analyze the gratitude note data in percentages to have a set of solid numbers to better understand our impact and strengths and weaknesses and in positive and negative realities of business viability when it matters. So let's see what it tells me. So, let's actually, so now that we're going to, let's, so let's do this. Thanks. Now numerically analyze the gratitude note data and percentages to have a set of solid numbers to better understand our impact, weakness. How many gratitude notes were there? So there were 35 notes. So it, it gave me really awesome information up here, but I wanted to say, it said, let's say there are 100. So let's be more specific. Let's say the, the, the amount and see if it then takes that number um, and it will get a better understanding of percentages. Percentage, percentages, percentages. So now they gave me actual numerical data based on this qualitative data, right? Emergency eight, nine notes mentioned urgent needs or emergencies, which is 26%. Um, we give emergency aid, but it's it shows that I guess more people like it's it's we need this now. 20% um, mentioned they needed essential like costs to live covering essential living costs. 6% mentioned getting support for medical expenses. 3% mentioned getting support for educational expenses. Um, 100% of all notes, which is awesome, represent community appreciation and 20% express a desire to give back when they can, which is awesome, right? So I asked you, what are our strengths and what are our weaknesses of that? And as you see, these are some awesome strengths that it shows. And then it can show some weaknesses, which are real things that, you know, potential investors have asked us and stuff. Uh, and we can answer these questions. I show you how to answer these questions in, a, in, a, in another video, a later video, more advanced video. Again, positive and negative about the business. We ask that. This is great. 
po- and these are real positive and negative things. Higher user satisfaction is awesome. We're diverse. Negative, it's dependent on user contributions. That may be hard to manage for some people. Like it may be a difficult thing. Of course, we got to figure it out at Well Money. But yeah, these are real um, responses about the what we ask from this data. This is awesome, right? After we actually have real actual qualitative and quantitative data analysis um, that have really understood our business and how it's viable and where it could potentially not and how we can better serve our users. Quite amazing. Let's make sure to now ask the AI the best ways to leverage this data to improve our product, grow our customer base, generate more revenue and acquire outside funding. Um, And this is specifically, we want to be explicit, more explicit, um, and offer suggestions based on our business model. So let's put what let's see what the, the AI tells us now. So again, and it starts off great. It gives me ways to improve the product, um, tailor the experience based on user needs, build a feedback loop, tells me how that we can grow the customer base. And this is again specifically from our user data. Quite amazing. We can leverage our user testimonials. Um, and I've done this. I've actually uh, taken Well Money testimonials and created a whole podcast, which you can listen to here, um, where I sh- which is exclusively for Well Money members um, to that is specifically about gratitude and how gratitude and our work is shaping the world and impacting the world. Partnerships. It gives us what type of partnerships we should we should potentially partner with. Um, and we can, again, this is high level, we can get, ask it more deeper what type of partnerships. Um, this is how we can generate more revenue. We can give away one-time contributions, which we do. Um, all these other things, how to acquire outside funding. We can create impact reports using our user testimonials. Awesome. <laughs> we can, of course, grants. Okay, cool. We can also use these gratitude notes to demonstrate, to enhance our our user story and demonstrate how our model is potentially scalable because of this actual written feedback from actual users. So if I wanted to ask for explicit things, let's say that, let's say this. Another example. How can I use the gratitude notes data? So let's say you're trying to raise, I'm trying to raise money, and which I am right now. How can I actually use these notes to, in a fundraiser meeting, and it mentioned this again twice up here, but I'm gonna give a more explicit question, right? Um, and let's see how it goes. Okay, so now we see the answer. The gratitude notes are powerful testimonials that underscore the real impact of your service on people's lives. Facts. They're a vivid illustration of the ways your platform is addressing urgent needs and providing a safety net for individuals facing difficulties. Here are some ways. Storytelling. Facts. We have... We don't exactly, we don't have dry statistics, dry statistics. We have real life examples that have a create, can create an emotional connection with potential investors. Um, we have real data that shows, that measures our impacts, right? Um, which again, as we saw above, where we're like 6% are you know, getting help with housing or, or medical expenses or whatever the numbers were above, right? Um, but this is data that which people who are investing look for. Our, it validates our concept, right? The we can take this to people who, you know, are check writers and be like, "Look, we have a proven concept. It's validated based on actual user feedback and how this user feedback is shaping to is 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 um, impacting the sustainability of our of our and viability of our business model." I have other questions you can ask specifically to the. AI after you've done the steps. And I really hope this was has been helpful because man, it's been super duper helpful for me for figuring out how to how to leverage uh, AI in this moment. Yeah, you can repeat the steps for each type of data that you want to analyze. And then 
bam, boom, bam, bam. And these are all great points. User engagement, uh, this reflects high user engagement and satisfaction. Yes, remember 100% was a feedback was like, yeah, this is awesome. <laughs> um, highlighting, it highlights the community aspect. It demonstrates the power of community and shared resources, facts, core principles of your platform, facts. Um, and it's a data-driven approach. By presenting these notes and your analysis of them, you're demonstrating a data-driven approach to your work, facts. These are, this is all six empowering ways I can now improve my fundraising journey to um, people who want to support the future sustainability of my social impact technology company, which is helping folks. So yeah, um, one thing I also do is you can now tell it to, you can go to each prompt, you know, you can copy, paste, and put in a document, or you can, something that I like to do. This is all great info. Now, please summarize all the data analysis you have done and the ways to leverage it in a table for me. Be explicit about the ways to make money and grow our user base. Um, this can just be, this, you can modify this to be whatever you want, but I just kind of sometimes want to see what it tells me. It's, it summarizes all the information above. Um, I can then put, put this into a Google Sheets or something. I hope this has been helpful for you and shows the, the kind of power of using ChatGPT as an amazing um, data scientist advisor.